Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video, we're going to learn how to draw a labelled bar plot in R. So first of all, in order to draw the plot, we need some data. I've created here on line 5 a, a, a vector called temp, which represents temperature, and using the combine operator, C, I've got 12 values for the average monthly temperature uh, in degrees Celsius uh, for Dublin, uh, where I live. So let me create this vector. So choose run. And we can see in our global environment that we've got a new value called temp with 12 numeric values and the monthly temperatures listed in the global environment. So what now what I'd like to do, be able to do is to visualize this in a bar plot. So the bar plot function is the basic function that allows me to do this. So use bar plot. In my case here, I've only got one vector. I'm typing in temp, which is the name of the vector I've just created. Uh, when I click on run, we can see that we get a very, very simple bar plot over here on the right hand side. If I zoom in on this using our studio's zoom option, we can see that we're getting a large uh, uh, bar plot here, which is on its own is meaningless. Uh, we know that this represents monthly temperatures, but if we didn't know that, we don't have any titles, we don't have any explanation, we don't have any labels on this. So let's go ahead and add these in to our code. So I want to add in three, three extra items. So bar plot, temp again, comma this time, and I want to give it a main heading, I want to give it an X label, and I want to give it a Y label. So my main is equal to, and um, I'm going to put in average, I'll put type it out fully, average monthly temperature. So if I was creating a report or doing an assignment or something like this, I might want something meaningful like this. After the inverted commas, put in a, a comma, and I'm going to move my code down to the next line by pressing enter. Uh, the X label, I use the X lab function for this, is equal to, uh, this is the month. Just correct that typo there. And I'm going to put the Y label, uh, comma after month, Y label using the Y lab parameter is equal to uh, degrees Celsius in this case. Okay. So now I'm happy enough with that code, click on run, and this um, adds some labels into my diagram. Let's zoom in again, and we can see we've got uh, a much more meaningful diagram now. We've got a title for our diagram, we've got a label on the, on the x-axis telling us what the month, and a label on the y-axis telling us the uh, measure, in our case Celsius here. But one thing that is missing here is um, the labels for of the months for each of these bars. So the first bar represents January all the way through to December on the right hand side. So I'd like to be able to add in those onto my diagram. So let's close this down and do that. And just to save myself some typing, I'm going to uh, copy and paste this code. I want to add in some extra parameters in here. So after the X lab equals Celsius uh, parameter, I'm going to put in a comma and move down to the next line. And I'm going to use the names.arg parameter to add in the names of the 12 months of the year. Now to save some time, I've got this argument already uh, typed out on an extra tab here in our studio. So I'm going to go to Untitled 2 and copy and paste all of this. Uh, you can uh, remember that the uh, all the code for this and all the um, our code in my series are available to it on my GitHub, which the link to is in the comments section. So I'm going to go back to my untitled one here and paste in my names for each of the months. So I'm spreading them out here just so we can see them all in this small window. So it's the same as before. I've got my bar plot with the main heading, the X label equal to month, the Y label equal to Celsius. And then after that, I put in a comma and I'm using the names.arg function to add in the 12 names of the months of the year. So now um, I'm going to click on run. And this time uh, I need to zoom in and the right hand side, you can see some months are put in, but it's a bit too squashed. So I'm going to click on the zoom function and we can now see that we've got a fully labeled diagram um, showing us our bars over the year and the months labeled in here. And this is now much, much more meaningful uh, to, for us to be able to illustrate in a report or in an assignment. You can do many other things as well in here, and let's just add in some color. Go to, uh, I'm going to choose red. Rerun this code. And we can see if I zoom in on this again, that we get a nicer looking diagram. We can choose any color that we want, um, make, change the labels in any way that we want. But now we have something that is much, much more meaningful. So we have a fully labeled bar plot. 
So that's how you draw a labelled bar plot in R. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.